Hey guys, Smart Ninja 000 here. Today we're going to be doing another Wizard Pack video just because I know we need to do one of these because they get the most views. Sadly, you guys didn't hit the like goal, so, um, which is five. So it's going to come out a little bit later, but I'm still going to keep making them. Uh, be sure to hit the like button because if you do, then I will release these videos sooner. Um, and I stop procrastinating. So. Now, last time we were working on the, um, the food, I guess. So, this time, nah, we're going to take a break from the food. Food's coming along pretty great. Um, I'm planning on adding some sort of heart attack feature where basically you can just, like, pretty much insta-die. <laughs> if you eat too much sugar, um, that's going to be another thing. And I've also added the, if you drink milk, it will actually reset your stats, just so there's another reason to drink milk. Um, I still have some machines to make. I want to do some machines. And I also still have some textures and models to do. So in today's video, we're actually going to be doing the models. Um, and yes, you will guys get to see for the very first time how I make my models. Now, it's just a very basic model for today. Um, today, we're going to be making the Weeper model. Um, it's going to be sort of a water creeper, just because aquatic update. Um, so we're going to be doing that. And I... Um, when I always start my models, I always start it using the model creator by Mr. Crayfish. Um, if it's not in the description, I'll link something from his in the description, probably his Twitter um, or the this. And I also, and then after a little bit, then I switch over to um, Cubic Studio. And the reason I do it this way is just because for the majority of what I do, I like to work free, and this is a free Cubic Studio. It does cost actual real life money. Um, but it is very nice, but I try to stick with this what I learned first So I'm gonna just keep using this even though it has all the things you really need there are some downsides to using it um, stuff like animated textures gl glitchy But it's it's okay, so you can see we already have a sort of shape going on right now. We have sort of a um, I don't know. It's supposed to look kind of flowing now his whole body is actually going to be made out water There might be a little bit of ice mixed in his face is actually going to be ice and water um, but we'll get into that in a minute so yeah so first we have sort of this sort of loop and this actually two slanted things it's got a nice curve and I think it was I don't actually name them um, it's a bad habit but I've just never named them I think this is yeah this is the right one isn't it yeah so we do want to actually make this a bit taller um, just so it lines up with this and there we go. Look how nice that looks, guys. Um, yes, these are actually two separate different things. Now, this top bit, I think it's facing up, so we just have to look for, I believe, no, this is a new cube. I think it's probably the third one. No, it's not the third one. It's a See, it's pretty easy to tell where it is just because of the size. So there we go. So we want to actually bring this out one more just so that way it lines up a little bit nicer with this but there is a little bit of an edge to that do you guys see that see how it's slightly overlapping but there's so little that like look how far zoomed I am that it's okay for us right now um, this is sort of supposed to have a flowing look so we're going to actually put a little bit of I guess water sort of flowing right down here um, so we're going to rotate this first no Oh gosh, what did I just do? Okay, that's good. That's good. So we're gonna rotate this, yeah. And now if we go under, it's a, it's not really an issue, but we don't really want to go under. Um, just makes it a little bit more annoying. So that's sort of the thing we want. Now we're just gonna try and move this into position. And we're actually gonna make this eight long. That's how long it is. So this is actually a little bit no, too far. One more. Okay, so now this is lined up. Now we just need to move it into the right spot by using these. Let's let's bring it down again. Okay. And you can see we got sort of a general thing, and we want to move this. It needs to be longer. I'm just going to keep adjusting it ever so slightly till we get something we like. 
Now this is pretty good, and most people would be there'd be fine with this, but I'm perfectionist, so no, no, just ever so slightly. I think this is about as good as we're going to get. Now there's a slight little bump right there. Look how far zoomed I am. But I think that's good. No one's going to notice that because here's how you're going to look at it. And remember, this is actually going to be a flowing transparent texture. So I think that's decent. Now it's supposed to look a bit like water. So we're going to put some sort of thing right along here just so it goes in a little bit nicer. Now I'm not exactly sure how nice this is going to look. No, we don't need it thick. Well, yeah, we will need it thicker um, when we finish it because with the water it will be transparent and some of the textures might overlap. But we are all going to give it the exact same um, sort of, I guess, like um, I don't know. We're going to give it the exact same. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I don't know what I'm, I'm. I don't know the word I'm looking for. But we want to try and give it sort of a watery look. I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. Ignore me. What is this doing? That's size. We don't want size. We want position. No. I'm not very good at it, modeling, um, which you guys will see from this video. But I'm, I do a decent job. I mean, I make decent models. A lot of it's just time. You don't have to be great at it. You just have to put a lot of energy and time into this. That needs to be one taller. Um, and you can see we got a nice sort of shape. It's got sort of a curve going on. It's, a, it's head's actually going to come out like right over here. Um, that's at least how I envision it. And we're going to need another rotate. I always recommend doing the rotations first. Just because if you do the rotations first, then it's in position. Because when you mess with the axis, the way it's facing, it gets messy. And now you guys can see we're getting pretty close to finishing off this base. Of course, I did do a bit of the work off camera just because getting a starting base is probably the hardest bit. And of course, remember, this is doing a lot of sort of curved stuff. Um, in fact, a lot of things I'm not doing like right now is actually applying the textures. Normally, I apply the textures right away, but in this case, I'm not going to. And the reasoning behind that is just because... Okay, so we're going to need to make the base higher. Was this it? No. No. This is it. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is the right one. So we're going to make this... Yeah, perfect. Now, see, this work gets kind of hard because we want to give it a nice sort of shape, but as you can see, we want to give it... I don't know. It's very detailed already, um, which is not a good thing. You know what? Let me just cut and do a little bit of editing. Okay, now we're coming along great. Um, I'm about to put the head in position. This is the head. Now the thing about the head is it's actually going to be, I wanted to be in ice. So it is in a very particular spot and size. Wait, we need to get the size right. Perfect. Um, now, the spot it's actually going to be in is right over here. It's going to be sort of bending out. And then we're going to put some sort of little curve right there. And a curve up there. And then one right there. And this will be it then. Um, a pretty basic model. We have way too many pieces for a basic model. The thing about Minecraft is... Here, you know what? Let me pull up Minecraft. Okay, the thing about Minecraft is every single model, every single texture is very basic. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six different pieces. This is where one, two, three, four. 
Alright, this one gets a little bit crazier, but... I mean, it's still pretty obvious pieces. If we ignore the little, like, things popping off of it, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, the newer textures are where it gets more confusing. But, I mean, this is pretty much just one and a whole bunch of little things coming off of it. I actually really hate pufferfish. Although, if it gets small, that'd be amazing, because then... Um, I mean, some of the newer ones are becoming, I guess, more detailed. Horse is a great example, because they keep changing it. You can see it's, it's one of the more detailed ones. But, I mean, a lot of these are pretty basic things. Um, the wizard pack isn't exactly the most basic. Where's... I mean... Look at that. It's pretty much just like two things. Bottom, top. And then of course there's, I mean, there's some side pieces, but that's not as important. Um, they actually do use a lot of the side things, like little just, but I, that's just sort of smaller stuff. Um, okay, so you can see parrots, uh, I mean, parrots probably the most complicated not even that complicated. Well, I mean, it's got, like, three different pieces for its head, right? And then wings each, body, tail. So, yeah, it's not that bad. Some of the wizard pack, though, this is where it gets sad. Let me actually look, come over to this. Alright, so give a P diamond ho. This is supposed to feel vanilla. Um, mobs are 200, so... 200. Let's go to a 1. Is the texture pack not on? The texture pack wasn't on. I mean, look at this. We, we got already a lot of parts, a lot of detail, probably too much detail. And that's just a gum. That's one of the basic. If we go to like this and look at this, look how many different parts there are. Now, this looks very nice and it definitely feels vanilla, but it's just so detailed. Of course, it's also animated. Um, here's here's a perfect example of something you might find in vanilla. Just kidding. You wouldn't find this in vanilla. Here's why. The little things right about around its arms. The Yeti, I really hate the Yeti. I don't know. I can't make a good Yeti. I might end up changing it all together again. I mean, it's animated. looks slightly weird. It's supposed to be slow, bulky. I mean, we'll have to see. That's the same one. And then, yeah, that's the end of the mod. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Where's the mimics? Oh, 250, right. This one, pretty decent. It feels vanilla, even though there's, it's got sort of a curve around it, and I like that. And then this one's got more, a lot more of a curve. The mimic kind of have a curve going on, I guess. They're supposed to be small, fast. I think I'll probably have a mimic for every biome. No idea where the Fire Reaper is in that, but let's just get back to the model. Um, now, this sort of curve thing we did, is this it? No, that's not it. Curve thing's this. We actually want to make this come up higher? Yeah, great. Don't worry about its head. Its head's actually going to be in something. I think. Um, yeah, let's make that right now. So its head's just going to be 8 by 8 by 8, and this is just the water going around the head. Pretty much its only non-water thing is going to be its face. Let's, let's cover this. There we go. Now, we do want to put another arch in this. So, but this one I wanted to, we haven't done any right angles. So I'm going to do one right now. Wrong direction. I'd say three is about right. It's six long. And 
and we are so close to making this look nice. Just gotta bring it up a bit. Now look at this. Look how detailed this is. It's extremely detailed. It's got. It's. I feel like this flows. I feel like it could look like it flows, right? This looks like water is coming from here and it's going down. I feel like that's what. That's the goal of this. That's the ultimate goal right now. All right. And we need this to bend. Yeah, that way it looks fun. Let's try this. Oh wait, no. We want to do. This one first. And bring that down. Bring that up. Back a bit. Make it thicker. Okay, you know what I'm noticing? We don't even need this because this little curve right here can probably just go straight up. Problem is finding it. So we're looking for a curve. Nope. That bend. I'm not exactly sure where it is. I wish I could just select it. Alright, we missed it. Okay, not that one. Not that one. Maybe this one? Yay! There we go. Now look at that. All that work just for this. And look how nice it looks. We just saved ourselves one thing. Now, this little bump on the back is kind of messing me up. Look how simple this could have been. If we get rid of this bump, we can just redo the model, just have its head, water, and a little bit of a tail. But I think we're going to keep it like this, because this bump might add a lot more detail. Okay guys, ready? We are reloading our texture packs, and we're just going to wait, and wait, and look at this. There we go. This is our Weeper. Doesn't have any textures, doesn't have any resizing. This is what it's going to look like after finished can you think now I'm gonna end it here just because this video is getting way too long um, for a texturing video this was supposed to be short guys face emoji right there that should be a new t-shirt um, but yeah you can see it's it's not bad um, we just have to do a lot more work to it anyways that's it thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video and want to see me do more texturing my, actually I haven't done any texturing on this if you guys want to see how I do my textures, be sure to leave a like and a comment. Remember, if it gets five likes, then I will release another video earlier than I normally would. Um, and of course, every video that comes out earlier means I have to actually do something. So in this case, I started the model and worked on it. So that means that it will come out sooner or we'll have more features. It probably won't. Actually, the release date is going to be 1.13, so... When 1.13 comes out, so will this thing. I'm going to have it all finished and all set up. So, 
Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Take care.